Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Look what we're into today. I honestly do not know what these are called. I know they're internationals, but the only ones I ever dealt with was like the 9200s. These, I believe I looked on there, I cheated and I believe it said Pro Star. But we'll get into it. Uh, as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five of them for sale. And there's a Kenworth over there that we're going to look at. We're going to do a quick go around on each one of them. They're for sale. Information will be in the description below. Either me or the I put the company's name there where you can contact them. But we're going to do a quick walk around, crank them up, move them, see how they run, see what type of engines in them. Uh, because I really don't know anything about these newer models. Get this done. But it's got real good rubber on it. While Jacob's getting all the vitals checked in it, it's got real good rubber on it. Uh, they're freight trucks. They're old freight trucks. I know they're not heavy, heavy duty trucks, but these are, are real late model trucks. And what they did was just pull them off the road and they bought them some brand new trucks. I'm talking about brand new ones. Yes, All right, let's check the oil in this thing. Okay. Got a little dang right there on the, but these were, they was hauling wood with these. They've been in and out of the woods they're wood tested. They got the pull hooks on there. You can see all of them's got a chain or a pull hook. We're right here next to 84, so we're gonna have a lot of traffic noise. All right. You can tell they just recently changed their filter, just serviced these things. Is it even on the stick? No, it's a what I don't. Uh, <laughs> Hey. Looks kind of dry. No, there it is. There it is. It's clean. They just serviced it, I guess. But it's it's right there. It's full. I don't know if y'all can tell it, but it's clean oil. All right. We can actually see the water on this side. Uh, also, I really don't know exactly what this engine is. I don't want y'all to think that I come out here and I, and I know everything because I don't. I, I know it's an, he told me they were international engines and I just don't know, but we're going to look and see if we can find a model. It's got plenty of water in it. And, uh, well, let's, Jacob can can you see up on, on very top up there, can you see if there's any information data tag up there on top of that engine? You're probably reading it upside down that way too, ain't you? Yes, sir. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Navstar? Yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the international. A what? Uh, that's going to be the date of manufactured, right? Maybe you need to come this way. It'd be the model, like a model number. I know there's somebody. Wait a minute! I hear somebody telling me right now over the, over the, on the TV or whatever or their uh, phones. Come on, man! This is what that is. Well, let's see what then. So, well, you gonna get that? You gonna get the phone while? Yeah, take a picture. Of it? Okay. Get back up there. All right. All right, well, looks like they took some of the dash. Yeah, this part out where they got to something. Okay, they took the cameras. 
they took the cameras out. And that's why that's out. They had cameras in here. See up there where they had them. Got a radio in it. All right. It is a ProStar manufactured of 6 of 13. Made right there in Warrenville, Illinois. This is a clean truck. I can't, probably can't get the miles till we power up on it. But you can tell it was a log truck and been recently used. He's got some of his peanuts there. Just all kind of things that you would keep in a truck that you collect over the years of running it. Water, oil. You know, the headliner looks good. The windshield does not. Well, there's one little old rock thing on it. Not much there. Looks like Kaufman International. Uh, did something on 423 or 24. I mean, that hadn't been but three months ago. Probably serviced it. Little crack right there. Oh, it says has def. I know it's getting a closer look at the tires. I've seen the color of this truck. I've seen these trucks. It belonged to a freight company like AAA Cooper or STs or something like that. It may need a, it may soon, can't hardly tell, it may soon need some brakes, but definitely don't need any tires right off the bat. Full bag air ride suspension. Yeah, it's gonna need some brakes. It's, it's gonna need some brakes. Aluminum headache rack. They got the fifth wheel good and coated in grease. All right, let's get in there and crank it up. Start it up. When you switch it on, just tip, see what, what's the miles say on it. 700,000. 700, well, there really wasn't any doubt that it would start. I would not think that would need to vibrate or move like that, but maybe I'm wrong. Two, two turbos, huh? Right there. That's where they had the camera set up. Oh yeah, the oil pressure's good. Fuel's half the tank. We didn't even check the fuel, but now we know. That beeping was low air warning. I, I know they could got the camera, but now we built up with air. We looking good now. Here we go.
go with this. They are just about to start trying to. I tried to go a little bit quicker on the gear shift than I should have. But that thing's got a short turning radius. Of course, this is short axle. All right, well, here's one of them. Let's go check another one. This truck uh, is actually a shorter wheelbase than that truck looks to me like. Uh, it, it may not, and this one, does not have depth so this one must be an older model than uh than that one let's we'll see right here yeah it's you can tell that's a lot different uh -huh. all right this one's a 10 model it's not too much different than it this is a 9200 I'm saying that all oh, those are 9200s, but they changed them to Pro Stars. Let's see what kind of engine this thing's got in it. There ain't no telling on this 10 model with no depth. <laughs> There's a nice uh, pull chain. This one's got a cat in it. That's going to be a, a C-15, I bet you. It's checked oil in this thing. Oh, yeah, that's old cat's making oil right here. Side Jacob in that box. I know it is. It's not as clear looking as that other one. Good steering tires on these trucks. Good pulling tire, good pulling axles. This one's got a homemade headache rack on it. Which is okay. Easy to take off. These are really good, really good tires on it. Got a lot of good rubber on it. There's the batteries. Let's see what the They ain't even a checker around him. I can't even see it now. <laughs> we'll see in a minute. Let me make sure I'm right on this engine. About the C15 Assert being a 10 model. I bet you it is. It should say like C15. 
or is it 3406 E? Nothing engraved on the valve cover. Y'all just correct me if I'm wrong. I, I'd like for someone to tell me if I can't read it that that's a C15 assert 2010 model. What do I look for to know what I'm looking at? It's got a turbo and a blower. Double turbo. Probably got plenty of power in it. 2.2 pounds of refrigerant. Fire when ready. to go back and answer them. Sometimes I'm a month late on answering them, but I do read them and I thank you for everything for watching, getting involved in it. Alright, let's see what this one runs like. Looks like in the cab, how many miles is on it? How many miles you got on that one? Got over a million miles. <laughs> All right, this thing's just getting broke in. Heck, if you gonna pull this one out, <clears throat> see the owner. Yes, it's the yellow one. Far yellow one on the dash. Yep. The red one's the trailer. One of them say trailer and truck. I think the red's the trailer. Yeah. Like I said, he, he don't know it all either. You don't know until you do it. He's found out and see if he finds a verse without me helping. I hope he does. The main thing you got to do when you're learning how to do something is just don't panic. Don't get excited. All right, he's going forward now. There you got it. It'll take him just a minute to figure it out. You locked up. Brakes are still locked up. Got a parking brake still locked up. What's your air look like? The other one had two air gauges. I'm not sure about this one. Got good oil pressure on it. Almost 110. That's only one. All right. Pull it and push it again. Pull, it, pull your brakes and push it again. All right, push it. All right. That brake's sticking. That's how it's just stick and go backwards. Sip it up. Free up. No.
Both air tanks are full. It's just thing. Let me lock in the power divider and just see if that'll. I put it in power to buy it. I'm just going to park it. I just don't want to slide that wheel. And we got too many to look at. To All right, I got the power divider back out. Uh, the air conditioner is not too cold. But no cat runs good. Yeah, I'm just going to get it up here in line. I'm not going to worry about trying to get that brake unlocked. <clears throat> it's probably just been sitting here a little while, longer than the rest of them. But it don't take much to get it unlocked. All right, let's stay on the theme of the trucks. These must be newer. You can tell he... He come and he had them in the auction. This one needs a this one needs a fuel cap. Yeah, these are newer newer here. Let's see what year these are. No, <laughs> this one right here is eleven. Nine of eleven, maybe a so that's a twelve model. Got yeah, another truck. Yeah, that's the new ones he bought. See that Freightliner's over there? That's a, that's a new one he bought. He set down a trailer. What this engine's actually called on these. Yeah. <laughs> that's the town horn. Got it bungeed down. All right, well, this thing's making oil. Also, he told me if somebody makes them an offer on all of them at one time, you will get right on the price, make it worth it. He'll deal. I uh, got plenty of water in it. Uh, just one fuel tank on this one, on that side. I guess all these have just got one. I didn't even notice the other ones. I think they had two. I didn't notice. What's the calendar say over there? What month is that? March of 2023. March of 2023. 2023. Okay. Oh, yeah. This one does not have depth. I tell them this one don't have depth. Pro Star 113. Of that monster drink over there. Sample it. 
The headliner looks good. Good straight. I mean, not nasty. Windshield, you know, I don't, I don't see a ding or anything in it. There goes, there goes the truck that he just bought one of them. I think he bought five just like it. Look like he got a partial load of hardwood. He's probably just finishing up the track. Bikes are hanging up like they do. It's sliding too. Put it reverse and see if we get it broke loose. It looks like it's rolling now. I believe we're gonna get it. There we go. I don't know if Jacob's gonna try to shift them or not, but. We got plenty of room out here to chill. He don't understand everything about floating the gears and getting the uh, RPMs, you know, where they'll just float in. He'll try to clutch it. See, it's all right. Way I started learning how to drive a truck, I don't know about anybody else. As my dad let me, he's, <laughs> he's got to realize he's got to stop, but he'll figure it out. My dad let me pull off the logging ramp to the road, and then come in the MT. I just, I just, he seen that I was interested in doing it, so he let me do it. And that's the way I learned. some brakes. All right. There's number three. Oh, he's got to line them up. He can't help it. All right, number four. Just got in it. You hear a lot of hair helicopters. We ride over here at Fort Rooker. And uh which I think is the largest helicopter base in the world. All right. Same international engine. And by the way, uh, the Caterpillar has had a rebuild engine in it. I can find that information. Anything that needed to be done to these trucks was done right here locally in Enterprise, Alabama at Parker Diesel. Uh, a lot of you might not know where that is, but they've been in business for years. Yeah, that thing's making all this right there on the max. They've been in business for years and they, did all his service work, I guess. He's also got another truck that had some issues. Yeah, I'm still making a little oil. He also had another truck that had some issues. It's got some parts with it. He's got a rear end uh, sitting around here somewhere that he throw all that in uh, with it because he's not going to need it once he sells them all because you can see he had the had them nice freight liners, got, got water in it. Let's see what the inside of this thing looks like. Yeah, sometimes those wheels will come unstuck, moving it back and forth, and sometimes like that other one, if they've been sitting longer, they won't. Yeah, they, you know, just showing the headliner.
just just don't look bad at all. I don't even know if we've seen what year this one was yet. Yeah, this is 2011. Jacob's done spotted a fuel stick. Watch for them rattlesnakes. Cause we in rattlesnake country. <laughs> uh, that's what you call a this side, we'll touch it anyway. See what you got. Oh yeah, it's making a little bit of fuel. It probably was so hooked when it come out of there, probably right about here. All right, let's see what this thing will do. Hopefully it'll just come out and when Jacob's getting in there, I'm telling you these tires, I don't know what the camera does, but these tires are good tires, good pull axle tires. Looks like he just replaced this power divider. About to crank it. All right, go ahead. Uh-oh, come on. That's gonna need a little help. That's the, that's, the, that's the down horn. I was just telling him he didn't have to idle up too high, you know, about getting the gears to float in. So we'll see how he does on this. On this. Okay. Oil pressure looks good. Does it feel like the air is working? Okay. The radio was working in the last one. Had to build up there. Also, he has all the titles here in his office. So everything you need, all paperwork right here. Got one set up. There it went. That was free. That was not. Uh -uh. There. Okay. Just two. You can see the interlock over there, a little toggle switch. Okay. That's all right. That's all right.
Rip your interlock in over there and that'll put the You see it? Off road? Off road. And lock and whatever. What's that lock? That's lock up here, but that's something. Okay. Well, they had it lock. Uh, what it is, you spun down. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. Just try to put it in reverse and ease it back. Come on, come on. I take it out of take it out of the push all the buttons down. Yeah. All right, now try to ease it back. All right, now come forward a little bit. Right, oh. oh, you want to back the truck up? Just get a little help pulling it. Time to put the Chevrolet to work. That'd be good. Now we got to find the, where to hook it up at. Wouldn't you know it, the only one that I got on. There we go. I see something. Make sure that all the buttons are up. Out of gear, yeah. Yeah. That means they're off, whatever they are, yeah. So I'm, uh, I see, uh, I just ease off the clutch a little bit. Huh? It's off down? Oh, that, okay. Now the top of that gear shifter is kind of broke off. Number four. See if it's charged up some. See if it spins faster. That just needs running. One more of these. 
Then we got the K W. Hang on. Okay. You do have to throw that back some. It will hang. I didn't. I can see on this side it's got plenty of water, plenty of coolant. On. Shit cool in this thing. Oh, yeah. That thing's making no more. I'd say this one right here is going to be the 2010 2 or 11 because it has no def either. Just one def truck. The very first one we got a hold to. Two thousand and eleven. Probably some of these are sisters. I didn't really look at the serial number, but oh, oh, oh. I saw the door. Okay. I see the battery box is off. I'm hoping that it's got some power on it. We don't have to jump it off. Or... Let's see if it's got a master switch. Yeah, it probably won't take much, but I may just throw the battery cables on my truck to it, see if it'll charge up. That was your mama. See if that made it come on. Beeping. Okay. All right, we'll let it charge up a little bit then. That's almost like truck stop parking there. Were you trying to maybe buy something? <laughs> hey, that's truck stop parking right there. I can, of course, that's the one that brakes locked up. I can get it over a little bit and they'll be perfect. But all they've got to do is move that one first, that one, that one, and put them where it wants them. That's no big deal. They're sitting there tight anyway. Give it as much a chance as we've got. See what it is there. How many? It ain't good. How many miles it got on it, Jacob? Eight hundred thousand. Okay. Eight hundred sixty-five thousand. Okay. Okay. Just a second. We ain't had it on there long, really. We, we here, we might as well give it the old college try. Yeah, see we're at 12.3 now. 
Yeah. Maybe this one will do it. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Perfect. Glad we didn't give up. Good to come complete the mission. All right. It's hot out here. I know it's hot. We all work here. But it's hot out here. Just change you. Oh. Each one of them, like it. each one of them just sticks a little bit. But they went in, yeah, I heard it click. Hey, woo! I don't want that to hit the drive stamp, which it was. Okay. There goes my ring. Here's the good thing about these trucks, turning radius. Probably turn better in my pickup. Yeah, just wear it. All right, my ranch made it. Boats made it. Woo. That's the knocking off bell. Got five of them for sale. Thank y'all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, don't be wild.